For Craft Television Theater, uh, I understand that you did 14 shows, that, that Macbeth that you talked about among them. Uh, and Rip Van Winkle a couple of times? Two times, yeah. And then I also did it for the Shirley Temple Storybook Hour on film uh, several years later. Who, uh, uh, who else was in that Rip Van Winkle that we might recall? A dog. You know, in, in, uh, in those days when it was live, if you had to change makeup, uh, Dick Smith, who was one of the wizards of uh, makeup at uh, NBC, did prepare it beforehand, you see, that they would put the Rip Van Winkle beard on me mm -hmm. and take it off and carefully put it aside, and the wig would be prepared, and then Rip Van Winkle went to sleep. <clears throat> in the bushes, and then Dick would come in, beard on, wig on, mind on, and it had to happen almost on camera. And I had an idea that a bird had nested in my beard, so I got a, a finch with a little string attached to it in the, in the, and tucked in my beard, and there I was asleep when they gave me the cue. I jerked the string, and the bird flew out of my beard. <laughs> Was it tough working with the dogs back then on live television? Yes, any animal is always tough working with film or stage, especially live television. An animal is always a big problem because you're never sure what they were going to do, walking away from the camera. Or you presumably tried to avoid doing it if you could. Or no. If it came along, you had to figure out how to do it. Mm -hmm. There was another time we were doing a play on craft television theater that uh, I had the idea, here was a man who was a protean uh, actor that you know, he was a quick change artist and committed the crime and to uh, avoid capture he would have to change his appearance. And Dick Smith, I know, had one thing that he had to put on real quick in a hurry and, and play a Russian. Then on camera, there was a two-way mirror, there was my makeup stuff and I had prepared myself out of wax and so forth some buck teeth and a mustache, and some eyebrows, and a wig. And I did all this while talking on camera. And then uh, someone came into the room, said, could I help you please? Someone that knew me as the other person. I said, no, thank you very much. I think I'm in the wrong apartment. And, and that's what made it exciting, you see, that you could do those things. Now, it would, they wouldn't let you do it. <laughs>